Hi guys, welcome back to another video. My name is Kat with the Catastrophic Budget and today we're working on my kitchen sink cookie binder. <laughs> it's kind of a mouthful, but it still makes me really happy. It's just like a mismatch of A5 challenges that I've collected and I'm putting towards different sinking funds and savings. I don't think any of them are going towards debt right now, but most of them are going towards very specific sinking funds and we're just gonna have fun playing some games. So let's just jump right into it. Um, let's count the money. We have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70. We also have a $25 to put specifically towards my daughter's sinking funds because my, we call it Hanai, which is like Calabash mom. My, Cal, my Hanai mom here sent my daughter $25 for her birthday and we were supposed to buy a bunch of toys for her, but she ended up only choosing like one thing. So I thought, you know what, let's play some games with it and put that towards her savings because she's kind of like the one that we end up skipping um, and I don't want to skip today. So let me grab the calculator. I'll be right back. We have $25. Let's go directly to her challenges and start playing them. If we need more money, then we will um, pull them from our actual playing games today. Okay, so these two are for my daughter, Remy. Can you guys hear all the roosters? I'm sorry, it's loud. Okay, so the first one is from Andy Fiore. It's $150. My older daughter has a $300 challenge, so I have two separate challenges. Oops. I have two separate challenges to kind of make up the same amount. And it looks like we're pretty close to finishing this one. So let's see what we can scratch. Okay, so... Minus five. We got a $3. Next to it is a $10 minus $13. I'm getting my nails done tomorrow. I actually should have filmed this when I was done with that, but I did not. Okay, so we need $3 for this. And what I was planning on doing was pulling the money from my minis binder to condense. So let's see what we have. We have one, two, three, four four five six seven eight nine ten dollars okay sorry i'm not using my little organizer just because i have all of my saving challenges that i need to ship off for my orders okay where is my vacuum here it is i was not prepared for this video so we need three dollars in here Let's go ahead and count because there's only two scratch offs, but they might be big ones. And I'm not exactly sure if I have all the money in here that I, okay. So let's do 50, this is on um, prop cash. 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Sorry, this is weird. It's hard to count that money, five, 10, $13 plus 25 is $138. Actually, oh, I want to finish it, but I forgot that I wanted to do the second challenge and I actually just did not do any of that. <laughs> okay, I was supposed to split it between these two challenges, but I got excited. Okay, so this next one is from Ali Bear Budgets. This is so cute. I love like the style. It reminds me of when I was a kid. And this is a total of $120 plus. Because if you find the hidden spider, you save an extra $10, which I need to roll the dice because I know where the spider is. This is not a scratch off. I added my little scratch offs on it to make it a little bit more fun because I love scratch offs. So we're going to do this one. $4. No, let's just do one more because we haven't scratched this one yet in a while. So we have four scratch another one but we don't have like a ton of money for this binder so we are always kind of only doing a little bit at a time which is okay but we need to make the money stretch okay okay so this one we're gonna add our money let's pull out what we have so we need a five and a six Okay, we have 20, 30, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39 dollars. Okay, that's pretty good. We still got a, a ways, a what? I don't know what that phrase is. Oh my gosh, my mind just went blank. A ways away? 
I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so let's just jump to the beginning. This is Lady Die Saves. We're going to get rid of this. We are going to roll the dice because Lady Die likes to roll the dice and I need my Sharpie. Here we go. Where is my dice? My pretty blue dice. I don't know if you guys can see all the pretty swirls. We've been only rolling threes and fours, so let's roll two dice and see what we get. Seven dollars, okay. That's not too bad. One and a six. Let's roll another two dice. Seven. Sixteen dollars. Okay. Those sixes kind of help boost it just a little bit. It's not a lot, but $16. Those roosters are extra loud today. How is everyone doing? Like, what is everyone's plans for the day? I don't know exactly what day this is going up. Um, I, so I don't know if this is going up like closer to the weekend or if this is one, two, three, four. Oh my gosh, I almost took the thing right off. Five dollars. Um, let's do one more. Five right here. Okay, eight dollars. I know some people will calculate around how much money they can spend on each challenge, but I don't... <gasps> oh no! Does that mean it's getting too full if it starts like spilling out like that? I did not like that. Okay, let's see how much money we have in this challenge. One, two, three. Okay, we only have 35, $37. We're gonna do it Tracy style right here. So let me add the money and organize it. I'm not gonna flip the bills or anything like that. So I'm sorry if that bothers you, but we don't got time for that right now. So out of 100, we have 20, 40, 50, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, we're over halfway there. We're at $56 out of 100. This next one is from Ellie on Earth. It's a really fun one where you roll two dice to figure out where you're going. Then you cross it off and then you just add the money. And I really like it. It's so pretty and we're making pretty good progress. So I'm not going to designate if one is the top or the bottom because there's a lot scratched off. So we're just going to find the one that's empty. Okay, so two and four, which is $5. We'll pull the $5. Six and one, or one and six, which is another dollar. One more. Okay. Two and one, two, three, four, five. Another dollar. Okay, seven dollars. And that's what we're just going to have to do right now. Because we still have a few more challenges. Yeah, we don't... I don't know if I'll finish... Logan's one. Okay, so we have fifty-five, six, seven, eight. Fifty-nine dollars. Oh, you know what? If I can get another one, then I can just add the ten. Three and three. Perfect. I'm gonna pull all of this out and we're just gonna add the ten. So sixty dollars. That worked out nicely. I like that. Okay, the next one is going to be from Two Sister Bees. It's Welcome Gnome. It's really cute. You just roll the dice and you just go around the board. So I can't quite remember. I think we landed on the end. So we're going to start from the top and go through. One, two, three, four, five, six. So $2. One, two, three, four. So $7. Um... Let's do one more. It doesn't really look like we made a lot of progress on this one. Oh my gosh. Okay, so we have a three. And we have to roll the dice because there's a little acorn. So three, four. Four. Dang it. Okay, we need to condense something. Hold on. So four dollars. Oh my gosh. The math in my brain is not really working. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Ugh. Lady Die, save me. 
Oh, this one right here. Okay. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. I think I just did that right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah. Okay. Oh, that just scared me for a second. Okay, so that was the first roll, right? And then we needed to do three, seven dollars. Is that right? Oh, whatever. If that's not right, I might have added too much money. It's fine. We're saving money. <laughs> it's all okay. Or it's okay. So we have uh, 61, 2, 3, 4, 64 dollars. This is for Welcome Gnome. Okay. Um, I'm not exactly sure what I'm doing with Logan's Back to School. So my goal was to save $300. This is a $100 or $110 challenge if you go through the entire board. I also have like a tracker slash saving challenge. Um, oh my gosh, my money's flying away. That is, um, that tracker is, um, what, what is it? $300. So I was going to take this money and throw it in there, but I messaged Logan's dad. I'm like, you know what? I'm saving this money for her school. Like, can you please contribute a hundred dollars? I'm trying to save 400. So he told me he was going to send me $200 before the end of summer. I don't know if I now want to make it a $400 challenge, make this like two separate challenges and then, you know, do half of it. He does the other half. Or if we're just going to do the $300 because I don't know what to expect. Like school supply shopping has always been really affordable for me. I work at Target. I save a lot of money. I also have a ton of school supplies. I have, you know, her school clothes. Um, I need to buy her uniform shirt. I guess they have for her school, even though it's a public school. She has new shoes. We need like backpacks and stuff like that. But I know that there's going to be expenses throughout the year. So $400 might be a little bit better for me. So I'm not going to play this yet. I'm just going to wait till he sends me the money. I don't know. I'm just, I don't have that much money left. I'm going to skip this is all I'm saying. So we'll figure that out and we'll play with it next week. Okay, this last one is for Logan. So she has this really uh, pretty... She has this really cute challenge from Andy Fiore. We have 10, 11, 12, 13, 15 dollars. So we'll probably be able to scratch off one of them because this is a 300 dollar challenge. And it seems like there's a lot of big numbers. So we have one, two, three dollars, or not three. Oh, I knew we were gonna get a one, which is gonna make me wanna scratch again. And then I'm gonna have an IOU. Yep, what's right next to it? Six dollars. Hold on one second. I might have to go and um, empty this. You know what? <sighs> one more. One more. If we have an IOU, that's fine. One, two, three, four. Actually, if I have an IOU, I will. Ooh, we're at we're not gonna have an iou because it's definitely getting close to where i'm gonna have like a massive 20 dollar or 30 dollar scratch on there i was gonna say i could transfer it in my bank account which is what i normally do for the her challenges or my daughter my other daughter's challenge but yeah we're not gonna do that right now so we still have four dollars um let's see what lady dies let's see if we can do one more if we get a six then we'll just have that two oh my gosh let's see can we get a two or one okay no um of course we got the six i'm sure let me go find four dollars i'll be right back that is cheating but that's okay we're gonna ring the bell and finish one challenge <laughs> okay what is this for usually lady dies challenges this is my one dollar for my ring the bell challenge i still owe that other dollar for the other challenge i just finished okay so let's see how much we saved with lady die i usually do self-care for her challenges but i have a couple that are going to be self-care so maybe 
I don't know. Maybe this will just be sinking funds. I, I'm going to think about it for a second. Okay, 20, 35, 6, 7, 8, 9, 40, 1, 2, 3, 4. $44. Everything's just kind of sticky on the, those bills. $44. You know what? That's actually not bad. I thought we are going to end up with like $20, $30 because we're rolling like really low numbers. But you know what? It all adds up. Let's do a pink one for Lady Die Saves. Okay, we need to figure out another one to put in here. I have a bunch from her, but I don't know if I have... I don't know. I might print out one that I've done before because I love all of those challenges. So we're going to put this off to the side and then designate that later. But I just want to thank you guys all for hanging out with me today and saving some money. I need to start planning or I need to start preparing for my daughter's little tiny, 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 tiny little birthday party that we're going to do for her in like the next couple of hours. So I will see you all later. Bye, guys.